the hell? What is that, Mom? What? Ma, you see this? No. Holy shit. What what is Wait, oh my god, so zombies are literally real and you can become one. There's a syndrome called walking corpse syndrome. It's a neuropsychiatric disorder in which a person believes they are dead or missing a soul and their brain acts like it. A man was diagnosed after a- You don't sound Russian? How could I sound anything, silly? I'm plastic. I don't even have a voice box. I had to borrow this one. Uh, Don't turn on the light. Are, are you going to kill me? No! I mean, yes, but not for a good long while yet. I don't want you to go to waste. Then, uh, then, then what? Then why are you here? After you attacked poor Sarah, I thought it was about time we had a good old... What's going on? Can I help you with something? Yes. There are two abandoned Disney World parks that people are forbidden to go to. In this first video, I'm going to be talking about a park called Discovery Island. This is located in the middle of Disney World's Bay Lake, and it's only accessible by boat. The purpose of Discovery Island was to showcase interesting birds and protect wildlife. It was housing 500 different endangered species. There were free-roaming birds, animal shows, treetop walking, and there were different areas of the park like Alligator Swamp, Flamingo Lagoon, Primate Point, but the island had to close this park on April 4th of 1999 and now you're not even allowed to get within 50 feet of its shoreline. Now there's many reasons why it closed. There were free roaming alligators everywhere which was so dangerous. Apparently the animals were being treated really badly and there was a deadly bacteria that was found in the park's waters. An 11 year old was killed from a brain eating bacteria. It freaked everybody out and probably ultimately led to the closure. What is a fact that could possibly save your life? If you encounter a mountain lion, do not turn your back on it. Walk backwards. Cats are ambush predators. They don't want to fight you head on and will wait for you to turn around to attack. In a crisis situation, people run from the door they came from. When the shooter walks into a restaurant, run for the kitchen. There's always an exit through the kitchen and very few people will think to run there. Plus, if you're not armed, a kitchen is full of killer cutlery to defend yourself with. If someone is trying to abduct you and fighting back or yelling for help doesn't work, then pretend to faint, or vomit on them. If those tactics don't work, then take the chance of getting stabbed or shot to escape. Once you get in the vehicle with the abductor, your odds of surviving are less than if just injured in public. Three minutes without air, three days without water, three weeks without food. If you are ever caught in an avalanche and buried under the snow, spit. Gravity will tell you which way is up. This is why you should never stay awake past 3 a.m. A woman in her early 20s was away from home on a business trip. The night before she was supposed to board her plane, she had trouble sleeping and had this intense fear that someone was staring at her in her room. She was up until 3, tossing and turning until she started to hear whispers. It was a deep voice repeating the words, I'm coming to get you, I'm coming to get you. But she ignored it and eventually fell asleep. After her plane landed, she was exhausted but drove home anyway. About 30 minutes into her drive, she started hearing the same whispers from the previous night, but she thought it was because she was sleep deprived, so she kept driving. She was almost home when she began to feel sick. Her eyes were watering, her nose was running, and she let out a large sneeze. Bless you, said the same deep, eerie voice. She quickly pulled into her driveway, hugged her husband, and sat down to tell him what was going on. When this happened. I can still hear that voice. The Creepiest Urban Legends from Around the World, Part 2. South Korea, The Elevator Game, or Ritual, which legend says will take you to another dimension. 
All you'll need is a building that has at least 10 floors and to get into the elevator on the first floor alone. Once you're inside, press the fourth floor. Once you get there, don't get out. Press the second. Once you reach the second, press the sixth. Once you're at the sixth, press the second. Once you're at the second, press the tenth. Once you're at the tenth, press the fifth. Once you're at the fifth, a woman will enter. Don't look at her, don't speak to her. She's not human. Press the first, and if you start going up to the tenth floor, you've made it. When you get out, the woman will ask, where are you going? Don't answer. You'll know you're there because you'll be the only living thing in this world. But be careful because it's hard to get back. I know, I know you belong. Warning, these are things that you do not want to know, part two. Right now, there are thousands of microscopic mites snuggling up on your body right now, and they're so small you can't do anything about it. So if you feel itchy right now, you know why. A lot of people tend to forget this, but spiders can also crawl on ceilings. So instead of looking at the floor for spiders, also make sure to look up because there could be one right above you right now. There's an island in Mexico that's full of hanging dolls from trees all over the island. The place is called Island of the Dolls if you want to look up more pictures. And if you're not following me, this will be in your room tonight.